Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me here once again. Now, if you're like me and you have natural hair and you'd like to protect your hair this dry season, aka Harmatin, aka winter if you're in more temperate environments, then you need some wigs. So obviously we're about to review this extremely sezzy hair <laughs> and talk about how I'm feeling it so you can still be doing slay mama even when the weather is not trying to allow your natural hair to be pa pa poppin'. So let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, if you all would like to see how I've grown my hair out over the years, then please be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at EpicZara. Now, the best way to ask me questions is to follow me via Twitter. So if you're not following me there, you're definitely missing out. I also post some interesting things. I post my feelings, my insights, etc., etc., etc. So be sure to check out my Twitter. Now, if you'd like to see beautiful imagery, be sure to follow me on Instagram where you can follow my journey, keep track of me, and of course, See all of my brilliant self photography last but never ever least be sure to give this video one big thumbs up it lets youtube know that you enjoy this type of content and of course it inspires me to keep making videos for you all be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones especially those people that are still trying to do slay mama slay papa and everything in between this wonderful winter and dry season be sure also to comment down below let me know what types of videos you'd love to see from me next and of course subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time i post a new video now i'm going to give you a moment to subscribe in case you aren't already okay so you should be subscribed without any further ado let's get right into the video So first things first, I'm the realist. I mean, I am, but I'm totally messing with you all. The first thing is to talk about the details regarding this hair. Now the texture is Brazilian straight. I've used a whopping five bundles to make this wig. All of the bundles are 28 inches. Now, if you know me, if you don't, I mean, I'm telling you right now, I'm a blunt hair babe. Even my natural hair is fairly blunt. I'm not a big fan of layers. When my layers and my natural hair grow out a bit more, I'm just gonna like make my hair blunt. I prefer it like that. The closure is a five inch by five inch closure. And the length of the closure is 20 inches. Now we're going to go to another screen to talk Talk about the price. Now the shipping was prompt, but the packaging was really basic. It just came in some typical plastic sachets, like some little plastic bags. They were pretty standard, nothing appealing or out of the ordinary. And I mean, the hair is not extremely expensive. So I guess you're getting what you're paying for. Now the bags were branded and the bundles were also wrapped with a little bit of paper, um, which was also branded. Again, not a really big deal. I think I have the footage, which I'm showing you right now. If I do and I didn't accidentally delete it like I did with another video very recently. But that short digression aside, the way that the hair was packaged was underwhelming, but it got to me very quickly, so that's cool. Now the service left much to be desired. I think I've dealt with this company once or twice before and they're not very agreeable. Now, of course, as an influencer, I'm getting paid to review this product. This is a sponsored video, but I've come to realize also that the hair brands that I have to go back and forth with that like to haggle a lot and argue and stress me out are typically the ones that don't have the best service. Now, while they were not rude, they were a bit frustrating to deal with. I'm not entirely sure how they would handle normal customers, but I don't imagine it would be extremely different. 
Now the hair felt fine prior to the installation and that was of course before we colored it. Now we did color it to jet black which is my preferred hair color because why not? And it did begin to give us some issues which I'm going to describe now. Now there were a lot of dead ends that could be as a result of coloring the hair or it could be that the hair is just not that popping and that was something that I had to trim. So even though the hair was fairly long upon receipt it's quite a bit shorter now because I had to even out the ends. They were kind of rough. Now off times I would have to carry along a smoothing brush which looks like this. I would have to carry that with me just to keep this hair in line so it wouldn't be disgracing me out in public. Even though it looks really good and it's fairly sleek, I did have to manage that struggle a little bit. Like I said, we colored the hair so the ends were splitting quite a bit. I'm sure that's why. Now the fact that the ends were frayed and splitting made it pretty difficult to actually straighten the hair and make it look super clean. But my sister is pretty much a pro and she's the one that wears this hair more than I do and it looks flipping flawless every time she does it. So she was able to manage that and if you know how to finesse hair very well, this kind of hair is not bad. It's not terrible. That is not going to be an issue for you. Now the hair length is definitely true, like I said, but following the color, it became a bit questionable. After the color, the ends were quite frayed. Now I did use permanent black hair dye, which typically contains ammonia, but good hair should take even that kind of color well. So I wasn't really pleased that this was not trying to take this color the way I needed it to. However, it does still look very good. Now density wise, these bundles are quite full. I really cannot front. I have to give them that much. <laughs> now at the end, it does taper a bit, which I'm not really too keen on. And again, I did use five bundles, so it's very, very full. I might actually still remake this wig and remove one to two bundles because this is kind of much and I'm low key needing that like thin British vibes, slay mama not doing too much, going out my scalp, weave, weave. So yeah, guys, the hair is very full. The ends taper a bit. Again, it could be because of the color, but I have actually dealt with this hair before, hair from this hair company rather before, and it wasn't the most popping, so bear that in mind. So I don't need to go into depth too much with this part. Color, can it take it or not? And no, nah, not really. It can't really take color very well. It did not take this black dye very well. I mean, it's looking glossy and flossy, but that's because my sister is a whiz with that flat iron. Otherwise, sis, bro, genderless sibling. Like this did not take this thing. <laughs> that well i can't even front with you but again we're pretty good at taking care of our wigs so the hair looks quite good now can this hair take heat funnily enough it can actually take heat very well but it cannot hold a curl to save its life i mean i don't expect it to though it's literally straight hair are you trying to curl your straight hair for why for where for what curl your body wave hair because curl your body wave like there's no point trying to buy straight hair and then curling it flipping it reversing it nah son just leave it straight but yeah again i can digress in so much but this hair cannot take curls but it can take heat Now, I don't know about you, but it's been like flipping forever since I've received hair that's been trying to shed all over everywhere. And this hair barely sheds. The shedding is minimal. Like I've been brushing it nonstop and there's barely any hair on my brush here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's barely any hair on here. And that's because this hair sheds very minimally. I'm actually quite impressed with the way that it's been retaining its strands. So I definitely appreciate that. And I'm pleased with that. 
so as far as tangling goes, this hair barely tangles. Like I literally just be running the brush through it. And like I said, my sister, a fantabulous DJ whose Instagram I'm going to link right over here, has been wearing this hair more than I have. And she's told me that it actually doesn't tangle. And I've seen that myself whenever I wear it. Like literally it doesn't really tangle. So I'm very pleased with that also. And Lois of low keys, I'm starting to wonder, like it has so many good qualities and it seems like the traits that are less than satisfactory could potentially be as a result of the permanent dye job that I did on the hair. So I wonder, is it that the hair is quite good, but it just can't take color? And when it tries to take the color, it's like, sis, bro. Like, nah, it's not working for me. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of comfortable right now, which is why I'm being so lax as I'm telling you how this hair is going. But I hope you enjoy this formally informal style of reviewing hair. High key, this hair looks the same as it did when we first started wearing it. Like, that hasn't changed. I can't even front with you all. It looks really good. It looks the same. However, if you do want to maintain wigs, you definitely need to be washing the hair at least once every week or once every two weeks, depending on how you're wearing it. You need to make sure that you're not using heavy products. Like Nicole, she doesn't use heavy product on this hair at all. She just uses a heat protectant prior to straightening it. And when we wash it, we use Aussie Moist, which is the same thing I use on my natural hair. I'm a shampoo babe. I use their shampoo and I love their conditioner. So. We use that on this hair too, and it's just fine. Now we don't leave any of the conditioner in this hair. Same with my natural hair. I actually don't like leaving rinse out conditioners in my hair, but um, it's just, it's really simple to maintain. There's not much effort that goes into this, and it is better than a lot of the hair that I have received. Received, to be very fair. <laughs> Now, if you're interested in this hair, all of the information is going to be down below in the description box down below. If you're feeling this hair, let me know what you think of it. How do you think it looks on me? I'm gonna turn around a little bit so you guys can see it. Ooh, ooh, don't look at that hump, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, see, that's what I mean. Those are the only things I don't like. A little bit of static. Nicole's a DJ, so she wears this hair out. Um, so it'll get smoky, sweaty, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and that could be having an effect on how it's trying to lay right now. So I think that's the whole video. I hope the B-roll throughout the video was satisfactory. You know, I tried to make it a little bit more interesting since, I don't know, today is just a little bit different. But y'all comment down below, let me know what you wanna see. Please support this video so that hair companies will pay me more money to make these kinds of videos and I can share wonderful hair with you all. Now, overall, I actually approve this hair. It's cute, it's not extremely expensive. And if you're looking for a quick fix as far as protecting your natural hair in a way that is safe and healthy, then I think that this is the way to go. Now I'm gonna make more creative videos for you all showing you how I wear my wigs and how I use them to grow out my hair and stuff. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let your girl know what you're feeling about my hair. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And again, last but never least, subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.